Hello subscribers, this is yours truly, JBlue68, coming to you with another exciting video. Today is December the 24th, the day before that big day known as Christmas. For those of you who celebrate it, not everyone does. Uh, there are those who do, and there are those who don't. Um, in any case, this is one of my next videos before the holiday, and I hope that you will enjoy. But before we get into this video, I want to say that this video is intended for uh, children and wide audiences. Uh, again, this video can be watched by children. Um, and I want to say thank you to my subscribers. Thank you for liking on my channel. Uh, please help me to continue to grow as I'm looking forward to that 200 mark now as we get into the year of 20, excuse me, 2020, which is literally right behind the corner. Excuse me if you heard that. Oh my goodness. I just got through drinking some orange juice. I hope you didn't hear that. <laughs> um, so yeah, this video is based off of the Hallmark Ornament Collection, something that I've uh, talked about before, I've done videos on before, but this is a big haul um, in terms of Hallmark Ornaments because these ornaments I've been collecting for some time now. Uh, these are based off of the Star Wars A New Hope um, film, also known as Episode 4, um, and it gets into some of the most epic scenes in that particular uh, movie. Um, You'll be hearing voices of Darth Vader, Luke Skywalker, Han Solo, all the traditional characters from the original Star Wars, which I think pretty much we can agree we all enjoyed, versus what's out now. But I'm not going to get into that. I already talked and touched on that on the last video that I did with Michael Elliott, uh, The Watcher's Eye. Um, these are interactive ornaments, and it's taken me like two to three years to collect the, these. The reason why... It's because Hallmark releases their ornaments in sets and they do them in series. And they may re, re, they may release um, a first series probably like this year and then a next series uh, within the uh, upcoming year. And that's exactly how they've done these. Um, I want to tr do an up close and personal so you can kind of get a closer view of these ornaments to see how detailed they are. They're very beautifully sculpted. Um, but let me show you one of the boxes too real quick before I do that. This is the Death Star ornament here, uh, ornament box. If this camera behaves, it's a big box and this retails at about 30 bucks, but they have another one that's like a hundred bucks. I haven't gotten that one yet. And you see here it requires a Hallmark um, power cord, which I have and I'll show you that in a moment too. Um, and again, these are interactive. Uh, connect this ornament to Hallmark's keepsake power cord to see the continuous light effect. Press a button to watch it perform an exciting scene from Star Wars A New Hope and other Star Wars collection ornaments to unlock larger, amazingly interactive performances. And this is from the Star Wars 40th anniversary. Um, sculpted, this one was sculpted by a Robert Hurlbert, uh, who's a Hallmark keepsake artist. And it retails somewhere in the range of about 40 bucks can you see that there if that gets clear uh, wow okay there you go 40 bucks USA 50 bucks in Canada all right and um, here here's the power cord here you have to have this power cord without it you won't get the performance that uh, you, you're supposed to have okay all right so these can be purchased at any hallmark hallmark store or or online but unfortunately some can't because they actually again they 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 sculpt these in the series and then once they complete that series they don't make them again all right so we're going to light this up here i'm going to douse some of these lights one moment So I'm going to douse some of these lights so you can get the full effect. And I'm going to go ahead and hook this up. Oh, wait a minute. I got to turn the Hold on. Let me turn the light back on because I said that I would show you some of these ornaments up close and personal. Hold on. <laughs> Sorry about that. And you can see the fine detail in these ornaments. There's the Millennium Falcon there. And this one cost about 40 bucks. The wide wing fighter. And then you get around the corner here, you see the X-Wing. Okay. 
some more ornaments down here. And that droid there, I believe, was from Star Wars uh, The Last Jedi. Okay. Oh, there's a Mandalorian. And here is uh, C-3PO. Just push a little button there and he talks. We do. But he's not part of the interactive set. I just want to show you that that right there. And then that Red Trooper helmet right there actually plays the Imperial theme. And you know the Red Troopers are in the new Star Wars film, uh, Rise of Skywalker, and they're called Sith Troopers or something. And there's one of the fighters from Star Wars, um, the uh, was it The Force Awakens. And there's a Death Star back there. So you'll be hearing a lot of noise from the Death Star. Uh, Vader's TIE Fighter and a TIE Fighter. And then you can see Master Skywalker right back there training Rey. And that's a scene from The Last Jedi. And in the low, very low shelf you can see Zeb. The Zeb and Chopper ornaments from Star Wars, the Star Wars animated series, uh, Star Wars Rebels. So again, I've been collecting these ornaments. I've been collecting on Star Wars ornaments for like mm, 20 years. Yeah. I don't have the exact number, but I know it's 20 years or close to two years. Close to 20 years. All right, I'm just putting this camera back down. Now we're going to go ahead and get this interactive light show started. I hope that you will enjoy it. Um, so I'm going to be silent for a moment uh, once it starts. And again, we're going to start off with the uh, Imperial theme, which will play from the uh, Red Trooper ornament that I just showed you a moment ago. All right, so my clumsy itis, clumsy itis is starting to act now. Nothing's broke. Just dropped the R2-D2 right there. He's, he's, he's good. You know, R2-D2 always has accidents. Every time I do one of these ornament videos, I always have a stupid accident. Thank goodness I haven't broken any of the ornaments in the process of that. Okay, so here we go, everyone. We're going to start off with the Star Wars Imperial theme, and then from there we'll go right into the light show, okay? I'm going to douse the lights once I do that. Here we go. Since you are reluctant to provide us with the location of the rebel 
All right, that's it. That's all, y'all. I hope you enjoyed that light show. Unfortunately, you couldn't see the X-Wing fighter because of the camera uh, position, but you pretty much get the picture. Happy holidays to everyone. I have two more videos I'll do before the end of the year, one or two. Peace, love, and hair grease.